Hi everyone, today I'd like to speak to you about the difference between a grooved outsole and a channeled outsole. What that means, what it looks like, and in my opinion, what are the advantages or disadvantages of either of those. First up, we've got the channeled outsole. What really happens here is um, the sole is about 4, 4.5 millimeters thick. We take out a channel. Um, so the knife kind of goes through about 10 millimeters in. We open a channel out, create a groove inside it, and then do the outsole stitching. So the stitch goes from the welt to the outsole, stitches it together, and after that we close the outsole and finish it up. What it makes for is a very clean looking bottom of the shoe. You don't see the stitches at the bottom and usually that's a sign of a very high quality shoe because it's a difficult process to do. Now with that you have sometimes the risk of let's say the channel coming off in a certain area when it starts to get worn. This is not a bad thing this is just because the shoe wears out at the bottom and that can happen sometimes. Um, but it looks beautiful, it looks very clean at the bottom and that's depending on your preference what you like. Some people like to have it open. It, I've heard people say that it's only then that it looks like a stitched shoe because in this you don't see the stitches at the bottom whereas in this you do see the stitches at the bottom. This is the one that comes from the welt uh, all the way to the outsole and put together. Now in this the stitches are exposed so when the sole does start to get start to wear out a bit after a while the stitch itself will start to wear out that is inevitable even in the case of a of a channeled uh, shoe but in that it gives an extra layer of protection for the stitches where first the leather itself will wear out and only after that it will work its way to the stitches whereas on this after a certain bit of wear on the outsole the stitch will start to wear now keep in mind in both cases when the stitch does start to wear out in the initial stages there's no danger that your sole is going to come off. That's, that does not happen very often or very, very rarely would that happen when you have actually worn your way all the way, sort of all the stitches, you've worn your uh, sole out. That hardly happens. So there's no danger per se of, of you know, your sole separating. But it's just a point of, 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 of observation. So here you've got one where it is grooved and one that's channeled. It all comes down to your preference, how you like your shoes to look, if you want to give it that extra layer of protection or you'd rather have a shoe that looks stitched from the bottom. Let me know your thoughts on what you think about grooved versus channeling, advantages, disadvantages that you have experienced while wearing your pair of Goodyear shoes. I'd like to hear more. Thank you.